The new symbol insertion options make it easier to control options for your individual symbols. In this video tech tip, we will cover how to insert symbols in a wall without disabling the wall insertion mode. We'll also cover how to keep symbols in a certain class when inserted regardless of the active class. If we wanted to insert a sink against the wall in this bathroom, before you would have to disable the wall insertion mode. See it says symbol in wall since the insertion mode is still active. And the same is true for this wall cabinet. Now you can keep the wall insertion mode enabled and edit the insertion options for each symbol. I can edit the sink symbol and choose insertion options and uncheck the option inserts in wall. I can also set this symbol to be assigned to the fixtures main class every time it is inserted. Now when I place the sink it is not inserted in the wall and it is in the fixtures main class as you can see from the object info palette. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the wall cabinet symbol except it will be placed in the millwork main class. This new option will be especially useful to those of you that have set up classing standards and have your own custom symbol libraries. Now when I place the wall cabinet, it is not a symbol in wall and it is in the millwork main class. Now if I save the file and open another document, Notice the wall insertion mode is still enabled, the active class is the none class, and there is no millwork main or fixture main class in this document. Now if I insert the symbols from the previous file, they still are not inserted in the wall, and they are also going to keep their class assignments. You can see it's just a symbol and the class is fixtures main for the sink and the wall cabinet is still just a symbol and the class is millwork main. This concludes today's video tech tip. Thank you and have a great day.